Well, look, certainly Tramier's man of the match today, but I actually wish you weren't Tramier's man of the match today because you had so much to do. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, look, it's tough at the moment. We all know that. We know that in the changing room. Um, we, feel, we feel the pressure. We know what, what's at stake. Um, but we're working hard to, to get through this tough patch and come out of it together. And like, I understand the fans' frustration. Like, I really, really do. Um, I get it. I completely understand it. But we've just got to stick together. And, and the only way we're going to get through this is, is together. Coming out of a positive mood, and then you're behind inside 11 minutes. I could see your reaction, how frustrated you were with the way in which the goal was conceded. And I know Taylor's a, a player on loan from Luton, and he's a good striker. But even so, not the way to concede. No, of course. I mean, we have a, a game plan every week, and we know how we want to a contain their their players and their strengths, and and then obviously put our implement our our tactics and our our positives. Um, but yeah, it's it's like I said, it's it's so frustrating when you concede a goal like that, and then you've got a mountain to climb. Because um, I think look, it, it, the pressures, the pressure was coming. It was, it was one of those where you, you just try and ride it out, and unfortunately we haven't rode it out. And then, like I said, you've got a mountain to climb after that. So, yeah, the, like, the frustration really is really there. The formation changed today, obviously with three central defenders and the wing backs as well as, as a goalkeeper. Sort of, how did that change your approach to the game? Um, I don't think it changes my approach really, but it, it's one of those where, of the players we've got at the moment, um, obviously we've got three centre halves who who are in the team, we're having to play yarns at, at right back um, the last couple of weeks. So I think it was it was the right thing to do with with the players we've got at our disposal at the moment. Obviously we brought Connor in yesterday, um, who I think will be a very good and, and key player for us. Um, but yeah, I think it, you, you have to go with what, what you have at your disposal at the time. We've got a few injuries, we know that that's far from an excuse. We should still get through it and the players we've got on the pitch are far too good to be kind of putting the performances in at the moment. 60 feet in a row, how much blame do the players have to take for that? I mean, you know, the manager's changing things around and, and trying to do best in situations, but you know, how much do you have to hold your hands up? Oh, at the end of the day, I know, I know it's cliche, but we're the ones on the pitch, we're the ones who have to manage the situations. Um, we get given the tactics and, and everything like that um, as, and a framework to work off, but at the end of the day, we're, there's not, uh, look, I, I don't know about Tramier teams in the past, but I'd, I'd like to say that there's some characters in the team um, that can deal with those situations. Obviously, at the, at the moment, we're not. That's, that's clear to see. We've, like you said, six on the bounce is it's not good enough. We know that. We're not trying to paint over the cracks and, and try and word it any other shape or form. We know it's not good enough. Um, and like I said, like, it really is a we, it's, we as a club. And it's we as a changing room have to get through this. I know you're only seven league games in, but I mean, yeah. The first two defeats, Barrow and, and MK Duns, I'm sure you feel you should have got something out of that one. And then you're 2 one up against Salford and Luke Norris goes off, Leo Connor goes off. The absence of Luke Norris, has that changed things so much for you that since then you've really struggled to get a result? Noz is a great player. He, he, we know what he offers. He, he's a target man up there. He holds the ball up well. But like I said, we've got, we've got Deno, we had Deno up there today, 21 league goals last year. He's, he's not like we're putting a young lad up top who, who hasn't been there and done it. So we're not going to use that as an excuse. We're not... Look, like I said, Noz is a, he's a fantastic player, but we've got more than enough on the pitch to be able to come out, perform, work hard, and then win games off the back of that. They're the, they're the key principles to start with, um, which we just look, we know it's not good enough. We're not doing it. So, yeah, I know I keep saying it, but it genuinely is. It's a we, and we know we need to work harder. We know we need to change it and, and get through it. I know goalkeepers want to get clean sheets, uh, not been happening recently, but you must be pretty pleased with your own form so far this season. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm making saves. I'd much rather, and that's a stupid comment, but I'd much rather be not touching the ball and us, us winning every game. It's not it's not about me. Um, obviously, I, I, I know I'm going to have to make saves and keep us in games. And We had Sam's chance at the other end that could have taken it to 1-1 before half-time and maybe then it looks a different game. Um, but yeah, it's still, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with obviously how I'm performing at the moment, but it's still, I can still do more, I can still help the team more, and, and that's what we're focused on. And obviously, the pressure does go on the manager, you know, when there's a, there's a run like this uh, as players. How do you feel for him at the moment? Say that again, sorry. So, yeah, obviously, you know, the, the pressure is always on the manager when results go like this, but as players, how do you feel about it for, for Dorsey at the moment? We know we're not performing on the pitch. Um, I know he's the, he's the manager, um, but like I said before, it's, he, gives, he gives you the framework, he gives you the tactics, and it's then up to us and it is a cliche as soon as you pass that white line it's then the 11 lads on the pitch that have then got to implement it have then got to perform there's only so much one man can do and there's only so much that one player can do it's literally just about like I said getting through it together and look, I've not been I've been in times like this before where teams aren't playing well where it's going against us but it literally will just take and I know, I know I keep saying it but it literally will just take 
absolute graft at the training ground, working hard, sticking together as a as a team, as a club. Um, and look, the fans have made a, an eight, ten hour journey, like, all round journey today, and we've all spoken about it in there. Like hats off to them. Um, can't ask for any more from them. So we really do appreciate that, and we really do feel that. that trust me. Yeah, the expectation of the fans at the start of the season always are, you know, Trambley should be there or thereabouts and you know, really important they, they stick with you and, and give you that support. Of course, like I, I wouldn't have come here if I didn't feel that the reason I'm coming here is to get promoted. Um, the fan base every time I've been there has been phenomenal. Um, what the club stand for and what the club are about um, was a big factor in me coming here. So the feeling we get, obviously, A, when we're at home, the fans, and then we're coming away. I don't know how many travelled, maybe 200, but like we, we feel, we feel that we we understand. Um, yeah, like fair, all I can say genuinely is fair play to making making the all-round journey and sticking with us, sticking with the club, um, and just hats off to you. We really do appreciate it. And we do feel it.